welcome back to my channel. I have an incredible, amazing, oh my goodness, Dollar Tree haul for you guys. So if you guys are not subscribed, consider subscribing and joining my family over here. I appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for coming back and watching my videos. I really do appreciate you guys. I am on Instagram also. If you wanted to follow me over there, I'll leave all that information down in the description box below. Wow. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump right into this haul because there's so I'm like, what the heck? Okay. So the first thing that's sitting down here, I could not believe it. they always had soft soap at the Dollar Tree. I mean, that's not a big thing like soap. They've always had it. But when I walked in today, oh my gosh, it's like Costco size soap at the Dollar Tree. I mean, this is unbelievable. So the only scent that they had was the, what one is this, like, um, refreshing citrus. But, I mean, it's, oh, look, you guys, it's like, can you see my head? You can't even see my head. It's that big. I cannot believe it. So you get 50 fluid ounces for a dollar. So, I mean, Dollar Tree, I'm telling you, I'm loving you so far. Yes, just keep it up. Just keep bring, keep saving us that dollar. Help us start to our dollar because if you, I, we have six people in this house and if you have a big family like I do, we go through soap so fast, which I mean, is a good thing, but you know, we're always running out. So, uh, you can use this for over 800 times. Oh my gosh. So definitely you guys, I mean, if you don't buy your soap at the Dollar Tree, now you might, you might want to because this stuff, it's such a great deal. I mean, I can't get over how big these bottles are. I'm just, oh, I wish they would have had more scents. So I don't know if there is, but if there is, please let me know because, um, this girl's stocking up because... That's such a great deal. Another thing that I stocked up on, wow, my goodness. Okay, so you guys know I love socks, you know, and I'm always like hauling the Dollar Tree socks. Today, my friends, there is no Dollar Tree socks. It is all name brand socks, and I kind of went a little crazy, but you're, I bet, you, you know, I bet you would do the same. I'm thinking you guys would do the same because... I just don't know. I'm just if you're a mom of four and your kids are in sports and you find baseball socks at the Dollar Tree, I mean, can we I do such a big happy dance because if you guys have kids in sports, the socks are they're like 8 bucks a piece. So if we can get them for a dollar, so I picked up some baseball socks. You get one pair for a dollar, and these are the Power Socks brand and then it does on the on the side right here it does tell you like ooh, if we can see that like um the sizes so this is a size large this normally this sock normally goes for $4.99 and this was sold at big five sporting goods which I we shop there all the time because that's I mean they have great baseball items can you guys see that <gasps> for a dollar like so your girl stocked up I was like heck yes and then another thing that I did come across they had so many of the power elite socks so I think you get yeah you get two socks and does it tell me <laughs> are you ready this pair right here goes for ten dollars and ninety nine cents what the heck I'm like so these are like game socks. So this is home and away game socks. Oh my gosh. So I picked up, they had tons of colors, but I picked up the white and the blue. And then I also picked up, this is, I love the bright colors. When my son like plays football or any type of sport, I like to him in like the bright colors so I can, it's easier to see them, him on the field. And this one, my friends, oh wait, this one's way, these are more, this one has... This one must be more fancy. This one is either thirteen or fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars, and I can't. Okay, this one's thirteen dollars for this pair. I'm like, so yeah. You, that's why I stocked up. I was like, oh my goodness. And then they also had the Therapy Plus socks for women. This is shoe size six to ten, and I really does it tell me how much. This one doesn't tell me how much it is, but I bet underneath the thing. 
it'll say which that one's but I mean these are cool max so we have these type of socks so you guys seriously they had something for everyone so the next sock is a compression sock which my daughters love these because they do work on their feet a lot and they love them so this is the gold toe it supports your feet and your legs you do get a single pair so it's good for like you know travel and all that stuff it um let's see does it helps um, the growth of bacteria for 24 hours. It seems like a really great sock. This fits shoe size 6 to 9 if I didn't say already. And this alone, this one pair, was $16. Like, I'm telling you, you guys should totally sock, stock up on socks because I've never seen, I mean, Dollar Tree gets in great socks, but like this, this is just like Dollar Tree, yes. And then I also got the gold toe, and this is the massaging low cut liner socks. Has anybody tried this? And this is worth, no, really? $20? Right? $20. What? No way. Would you guys pay $20 for a set of socks? Is it 20 or 10? Hold on. It's all messed up. Okay, I want to say it's 10 because, gosh darn it. It, like, oh, how much is it really? Okay, $10. Oh, good lord. Almost like $20 for a pair of socks? socks that's a little I mean that's bougie bougie socks so ten dollars for I mean still though I mean for two two sets I don't know like just you, I could just hear the cha-ching 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 like saving those dollars I get oh saving money makes me happy you guys so you get like a dark pair and also a light pair and then the next thing we have is these are the gold toe as well and these are the long socks and this one doesn't tell me how much they retail. But I'm telling you, there's something for everyone. And seriously, these socks feel so soft. Oh my gosh, these are like butter. And then we also, I think I have another one. You guys, I'm so, I was like, I had to tell myself, I was like, how many socks do you need? Like, you don't need all of them, but I just, oh my gosh. And these are also gold toe. And then they're just the long the long knee high socks and they have two as well and these are so so comfortable and then the last one we have the George pair I think this was like at Target or maybe Walmart walmart.com and these fit she says four to ten and I just picked up these just the black and the because my daughters use the black socks at work so oh my gosh you guys seriously Head over to your Dollar Trees and stock up on socks because socks can be definitely expensive. If you guys are wondering where I found the socks, if you guys are close to me, the new Dollar Tree on Lancaster is where you're going to find those socks at. And I'm sure, I don't know any others, everybody was stocking today, so definitely be on the lookout because they've got some really goodies on this truck their truck this coming week okay so let's talk about bolero just for a minute i did find some new things that i had never seen before so we're going to test them out i don't have any pimples but i do have people in the house that have blemishes so i really i'm kind of i'm loving i know i know bolero isn't the best and there's a lot of products that aren't great but then some products are just okay so i've never tried this so we figured we'd go ahead and give it a whirl this is the blemish stickers now it does say for all skin types which i never trust that because sometimes it says for all skin types and i'm like mm, it's not so if you have problems with them please let everybody know because i don't have sensitive skin though i do have people in my house that have sensitive skin so i can test them out this week but they are 36 patches so they're basically all the same thing the only thing that's different is this one has the round so they're like the normal round blemish stickers we have the heart blemish stickers what i which i thought was kind of cute and then we also have the star blemish stickers now i've tried a whole bunch of the brand like brands of these and i do have my favorite the ones that you can get at dollar tree right now the blemish stickers those oh <gasps> Those work amazing. You put it on, and then if you have like a blemish or like a pimple, it'll like 
it'll get like milky white and then like you take it off and the pimple just kind of like comes out. It's the coolest thing ever if you've never tried these. Highly recommend the ones I've talked about in the past, the ones that you get at Dollar Tree that they always have, but we're going to go ahead and test these out and see if they do work. Now they have a whole bunch of all, they have a whole bunch of different things right now that are new. So I've never tried their Bol um, Bolero Cleansing Face Balm. So it says clarifies, cleans, and feels refreshing. I'm kind of thinking that it's like a jelly um, cleanser like um, makeup remover is kind of what I'm thinking I don't know I was just intrigued this time usually the stuff I don't like and I've reviewed it in the past and it's kind of like ugh. but I don't think I've ever tried something like that so when something new comes in to the Bolero line I like to try it just to see so I've never tried something like that so we'll test it out and then I was like okay this kind of piqued my interest. I don't like their like face oils and a lot of their products honestly is not great but I mean I like to test things for you. So this is the facial hydrator so it says reveal dull skin with a blast of moisture boosting ingredients. I mean I don't know. You know I I don't have high hopes for any of this stuff. Maybe the pimple stuff but the rest I'm I'm just, I'm your guinea pig. Let's just try it out. So this is what this looks like. And now they did have others to pick from, but those are the only two that kind of piqued my interest. The other thing that kind of piqued my interest, where are you at? Okay, so their facial cleaners are not that bad. I've tried them in the past, and I mean, they don't have like anything great about them. They just clean your face, which is fine, especially if you do have sensitive skin. You don't want a lot of product. You want it kind of be clean as possible. So this is their Energizing Boost Facial Cleanser. I've liked them in the past, so I'm assuming that I would like them. I would like this one. So I just bought one. They do have different scents as well. And then I also want to try the exfoliating or gentle face exfoliator. I, they have stuff like this, like I said, in the past. And I, let's open it because I'm kind of curious to see. Like I said, I always like I check everything because I check everything with any store. I'm just like, I don't want to get it home and then be like, ew, someone put their finger in it. Do we know where that finger has been? Mm -mm, I don't know. So especially if it's going on my face. Okay, so this is like a clear, I kind of figured it might be like this. It's like a clear lotion and a lot of their products are like that, but I wasn't sure if it had like a bead or anything. Now the smell smells so good. This time, like their smells, their scents on them smell really good, but you know. I mean, I guess if anything, they're stepping up their game and their smells. Let's just kind of step up your game, Bolero, with like your products. Don't let it be so watery. I mean, I know it's only a dollar, but this stuff doesn't cost a lot to make. So you can put a little bit better ingredients and make it a little bit better and still make a great profit. So we'll see. We'll see how I get along with that. But I was really excited about their bath bombs. Now I do love Bolero bath bombs. There's one in the past that I always rave about that they, I feel like it was so good. They were they fizzed and they made your bath just amazing. They performed like a high-end bath bomb and then I don't know what happened but their the next batch and the next batch after that it like went back to normal. So I was kind of bummed about that. But we'll see. We'll see if they come back with that older formula that I really did like. So they have they come in three and this is sweet orange vanilla. Now I always use all three of my bath bombs when I use this product just because it's a bigger it's like one big bath bomb. But if you're like using this for your feet or something like that, then I would use one. So I like their bath bombs. I don't really have any problems with them. I just wish that they would bring back that one formula because it was just off awesome. So there's the lavender eucalyptus and there's the pink pineapple cucumber. And then we have the mango hibiscus. That, I mean, ooh, that sounds amazing. And then we also, ooh, don't fall. We have the coconut sea salt. So I'll test them out. I'm gonna t I can't wait to take a bath tonight. So I'm going to take a bath and let you guys know what I think of them. But um, I'm really, to me, looking at them, some of them might look like they're the old school ones that I really like. I really hope that they 
they bring back that formula. I don't know what it was. And I'm going to try to find that formula and test it up. I think I might have the old bath bombs that, that I really raved about and loved because... I wish, you know, if you get something right, you sh they should keep with it, but we'll, we'll see. And then, of course, they always come out with their, their face wipes. I just got a few, you guys. I didn't go, you know, crazy, but, I mean, I know a, a lot of you, like myself, really do love the Bolero face wipes. I honestly, out of everything, I've never had problems with their face wipes. Now these you only get 32, but they have like the tangerine oil, so it's infused with tangerine oil. And then we have like, what is it, Jehovah, Jehovah oil, Jehovah oil. There's that one. I mean, they, they had so much to pick from you guys, but I just grabbed a few. And um, like I said, I have never had a problem with their face wipes. And I use them all the time just to kind of refresh. And I, wa I use a face wipe first before I wash off most of the time just so I can get all of that. Because it doesn't take all your makeup off, but I like to use it before I use I go in with a cleanser. And then I came across the Safe and Healthy. Basically, it's a disinfecting UV light. It kills 99.9%. .9%. Do you guys remember a little while they had, a little while back, they had the big O one? Well, now they just kind of have like a little tiny one that you can put in your bag. So I just decided to grab it. I just grabbed one because I figured it would be good to put in our, like bag with all of our medicines and stuff and if flu and cold season comes around I just something like that you never know you just never know so I just figured I'd pick that up because I really did like how small it is and then I did come across the little toys I think these are so cute I know like Target sells these when they have their like bullseye playground and stuff so basically they're just little shells and then they have the little crush thing you just basically break them open they have like a surprise inside so I figured these would be great to take to the beach so that's exactly what I'm going to do with them this week because we're gonna go to the beach again and I thought these might be fun to just sit on the beach and crush them and I'll you know obviously take all the stuff and put them in the garbage and stuff but these were for three and up the figure that would just be kind of something for you know the kids to do or my little one to do okay I was so excited to come across sugar-free syrup what now they've always had syrup at the Dollar Tree yes but never the sugar-free syrup or at least my Dollar Trees haven't so we have this sort the salted um, caramel or caramel however you say it. do you guys say caramel or do you guys say caramel because it seems like my best friend says caramel and I say caramel and she's like no girl you're saying it wrong so I don't know but I figured I'd grab that and then I also grabbed two more of the hard candies this is the alley cat and it looks like this and then here's another lip plumping serum so by hard candy I just picked that up let me go ahead I'll swatch the alley cat real fast for you guys I'm gorgeous 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 and that is what that that's super pretty so definitely be on the lookout for all the hard candy stuff I am so excited seems like every time I go in there I find a little bit here or there thank you guys so much for watching my Dollar Tree haul I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time bye